prior to Splatoon 3, there was no such thing as a turf war where you could have more than two teams. So this is brand new, fresh ground for Splatoon. This stands as an opportunity for players to see Turf War in a brand new way and perhaps be able to enjoy it again for those who were tired of it. For people who never played Splatoon previously, they're going to be jumped by this wild and wacky new mode and it might be that thing that gets them to finally buy the game this time. People have always asked, oh, what makes Splatoon 2 so different from Splatoon 3? And there's plenty of reasons for it, but Tricolor Turf War is going to stand out as that thing that people are able to test and play and enjoy. You might wonder, is it unfair that one team has four players? You might think so at first, but it really isn't all that simple. For the four-player team to have a massive advantage over the two two-player teams, aka the two teams that are currently losing, they have to simultaneously spawn camp, or the equivalent, I guess, in Splatoon 3, both teams at the same time. Otherwise, they'll be fighting against four players that are constantly trying to invade the middle of the map. Remember that there actually are no spawns? in Splatoon 3, so essentially, they'll be spawning back into the center every single time. Could be a little weird. Think about it. Usually, when you think about playing Turf War, you think about painting your side of the map and then going to the center. The goal is normally to get to the middle before your opponents do, because it's harder to snag Turf if your opponents get the jump on you. Well, uh, this time, you have four players already poised in the middle. If they're in advantageous positions, then yes, they can probably hold the middle. But can they reach out to the sides, past the center of the map, to get more than the third of the map under their control? It's such an interesting concept, because normally, we strive to get at least half the map under our control. It'll be so weird looking at the map and seeing so little space attributed to each team. It's also twice the amount of colors that your inkling can get stuck in, and twice the amount of colors just, you know, that can be painted over for special points. But in the end, is it any different than only having a third of the map painted and a huge swath of paint to still color? Not really. You'll still see players overall getting a similar number of turf points per game, as it still is a 4v4 battle, just set up from a different angle. Your bomb can still cover any color of turf that's in front of you. Your specials will still be able to hit their mark, no matter what color the enemy team is. The Ultra Signal is in some ways a player 5 in a sense. It'll either be helping or hurting the leading team. At the same time, you can't forget that the leading team will have access to more specials. And honestly, if they're being bombarded from both sides constantly, they probably really do need it. You could have twice the number of tactic coolers, twice the number of big bubblers, twice the number of killer whales. <laughs> I'm going to go over a few of these specials and explain how they have the potential to be very annoying on Tricolor Turf War, but especially if you're on one of the teams of two, where you have six opponents instead of four. Now, th the first one I'm going to mention is good old Tenta Missiles. This special is coming in straight from Splatoon 2. And essentially what the Tenta Missiles allow you to do is aim at your opponents and fire missiles at them. <laughs> in Splatoon 2, the Tenta Missiles would multiply if you fired them at multiple opponents. Assuming that, that still is a thing in Splatoon 3, you could essentially have up to six opponents marked with Tenta Missiles all at the same time. And if that isn't Class A annoying, I, I, I really don't know what is. Actually, I do know what it is. Uh, you know Triple Ink Strike? You know Booyah Bomb? That's you basically throwing a giant explosion or a giant column of ink into any innocent Inklings or Octolings fighting in the middle of the field. <laughs> I mean, think about it. If you have the leading team mostly stuck in the center, why not just, like, stand on the side of the map and throw your Ink Strikes in there? <laughs> Where are they going to go? They're going to go walking into the two opposing teams and have to fight people over there too. I, th I think that's terrifying for the leading team. Imagine if, like, you have the unfortunacy of having two people on each enemy team, just all with, like, booyah bombs. They happen to charge them approximately at the same time. Ah! Killer Whale has the potential to be super duper obnoxious too. Just imagine being on one of the teams of two and firing off a Killer Whale. 
you have the opportunity to hit up to six different opponents with that whale. Anyone that happens to be running around could end up being a potential victim <laughs> of the killer whale. You, you won't know until you fire it. So why not fire it into somewhere where you see opponents having a team fight? Because remember, now you can basically be a witness to a team fight. Not a team fight where your teammates are involved, but just a fight between two other teams. It's going to be great because you'll see players throwing everything from killer whales to suction bombs to burst bombs to, to literally anything that does damage just in their way. <laughs> imagine, imagine just throwing like a splash wall in the middle of an enemy team fight and then they both just have to, <laughs> they just have to move out of the way of it. Oh my god. I love just thinking of stupid ideas that work in these kinds of things. I think it's the high energy environment of Splatfest that gets me excited for them too. Besides, as it is a special event, lots of players will actually go out of their way to get these colors just to have them in the plaza. It was a very common thing in Splatoon too. Other specials that could be really annoying? Uh, the big bubbler. If you're on the team of two, you're essentially locking out six players from an area for a while. And that's just funny. Going back to the team fight thing, oh my god, the reef slider? Just walk in, cause an explosion, get two to six kills and walk out? <laughs> awesome! Tricolor Turf War might only be available every couple of months when we get a Splatfest, but I really think it's gonna be fun. Seeing as of Splatoon 3's release, this is the only new mode being added to Splatoon 3. It must have been heavily tested to make sure that it works. After all, this is about as close as we'll get to a Splatoon Battle Royale, at least in this game. An idea that I've talked about in a previous video and I've linked in case you're interested in listening to it. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe or leave a like if you enjoyed hearing me talk and want to watch my Splatoon 3 videos in the future. Also, please leave comments about other dumb things you think could happen in Tricolor Turf War because I really enjoy laughing about it. <laughs> Thank you and have a good one. Thank you.